Live webinars can be a huge source of delivering value to your audience and generating more leads for your business. They take time to organize well, many people register for them, but few people actually show up. That's why I believe the real value is in the recorded content. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to record a high quality webinar online and what you need to do with that recording to make it work for your business. On average, 260 people register for a single webinar. However, only 60% of those people actually attend those webinars. This is why the real value of webinars is how you have the content work for you in the weeks and months after with a high quality recording. There are a few key players in the webinar space and a few alternative options you can use to produce your webinar. You could choose between Zoom, Crowdcast, On24, Livestorm and Riverside.fm. Let's break down the pros and cons of each and then which one you should choose for your webinar recording. Kicking off with our very own platform, Riverside. This gives you all the tools to create a high quality webinar recording along with the features to make an engaging live event. Riverside is built to give you studio quality recordings that you can repurpose after the event, turning your hour plus long webinar into weeks of additional marketing content. You've got a great interface with powerful host controls, up to 4K recording, and the ability to stream to platforms such as Twitch and YouTube. It's also the best price. The only downside I can really see with Riverside is that it's not optimized for live webinars, but it does give you the best result when it comes to recording them. Riverside starts at just $7.50 per month with no limit on attendees. Zoom rather cunningly created a webinar platform from their own conferencing software. So it's basically just a calling software with a few additional features bolted on. Naturally, Zoom's webinar software became popular because they have such a large user base, but you will end up with a low quality recording and a mediocre experience for your guests. It's familiar to use for most, and it has some webinar specific features. The cons are that it's really expensive. You get a low quality recording and you need your audience to download an app to be able to view the webinar. Zoom is priced at $40 for 100 attendees, $340 for 1,000 attendees. Now, Crowdcast is a relatively new player on the scene and is designed for creators. You'll often see the likes of Wistia hosting their live events on Crowdcast. The pros are you've got a nice interface, no software required, and a good set of features. The downsides are that it's expensive, you have transaction fees, and you also have a low quality recording. I guess you're sensing a theme here. It's $49 for 100 attendees and $195 per month for 1,000 attendees. On24 is the old guard of webinar software, having been used by enterprise organizations for years. You won't find their pricing anywhere because you'll need to do a consultation with them to get set up. You'll know when you're joining an On24 webinar because of their somewhat ugly interface with different modules, but it's very much not suited to a recording a high quality webinar. The pros of On24 is you can use more of your marketing budget and they have very nice animations on their website. The cons, well, it's not really worth the money and the experience will hurt your eyes and your designer's feelings. Livestorm set out to disrupt the webinar space and are doing a good job of this, but it comes at a cost. They have a very nice interface and an easy to use platform for those hosting the webinar with the ability to stream to other platforms very easily. However, unless you're really committing to your live events and not the longevity of your high quality content after the event, then I'm not sure if this is worth it for you. The pros are, you have a very nice webinar software with lots of handy features. The cons, very premium pricing and no option for local recording. It's priced at $99 for 100 attendees, $308 for 1,000 attendees and $99 per additional host. The option you choose for your webinar requirements depends on exactly what your situation needs. If you're looking for a cost effective option with live call-ins and an emphasis on creating studio quality recordings, then Riverside is going to be for you. Let me show you how you can set up your live webinar event in riverside.fm to get the high quality recording along with a few tactics to grow your show. 
So here we are in our riverside.fm dashboard. The first thing you'll need to do is go to create new reusable studio. From this point, enter the name of your webinar and make sure you selected audio and video. You can then invite additional participants or hosts at this point. Then click create show. You can then double check you're happy with your settings, ensure you're recording in 1080p or 4K if you have cameras to enable you to do that. If you want to, you can also schedule your show to go live at a certain date. So if you've got a time for your webinar to go live, you can select a date here. So I'll select Saturday at 10 a.m. GMT. Click submit and then your webinar will be scheduled. If you want to make sure you're recording your screen in a separate track, make sure you click separate tracks here and set that setting. Once you're happy with all your settings, you can go to your recording studio and enter your green room. Make sure you're happy with all your settings. From here, you can toggle some settings to get your webinar live onto the other platforms. So go into settings, go to live stream, and then what you'll need to do is get your stream URL and stream key for YouTube, and then enable it once you have those keys added in. For Twitter, you'll need your stream URL and your stream name, and then enable it. For Facebook, stream URL and stream name, then enable it. And for Twitch, of course, the URL and stream key, then enable it. Once you save your settings, as soon as you click start recording, this will go live on all the platforms, including the riverside.fm link. So if you want to share this link with your audience, you can go to the audience link here, copy that, paste, and as you see, the show is now live. So this is what a viewer will see when they log into your webinar. You can see they've got a chat function for a bit of engagement and interaction and if you want to add to that engagement then people can start live call-ins and come onto your webinar so you can have even more engagement with your audience. Once you're back in the host view and you've stopped your webinar, in order to get your high quality recorded files you can now either click view all recordings here and you'll be able to get your studio quality WAV files mp4 and also your constant frame rate mp4 will come after a few minutes. If you want to access these recordings at any time, you can go to your riverside.fm dashboard. You can click view all recordings on the webinar that you've recorded. And then you'll come to the same screen where you can download your WAVE, your MP3s, or as you saw pop up right then, the constant frame rate MP4 files. So now your show is set up in riverside.fm. Here's a few tips to grow your show using our platform. Focus on the content and engagement. Don't worry about the fancy features. Encourage multiple live call-ins throughout your show. Publish the full show after the event. Create a branded frame and add multicam angles in full HD to increase the production value. Break your longer webinar into five to 10 sound bites to share on social media. Create a social media channel for your show where you share all these clips. Host regular weekly events like our riverside.fm live show with the founders every Sunday. As you can tell, none of the options presented you today offer high quality locally recorded audio and video. They are all focused on bloating their webinar software for the live event, which although are important, it's the longevity of that live event that is really gonna have the benefits for your business. So if you're really committed to growing your webinar operation, then using riverside.fm to have the flexibility of recording as if you're in the same room, it's gonna be worth it in the long run. What do you think of webinar software? Have you used any mentioned in this video before? Make sure you leave a comment below. We're gonna be producing a bunch more videos on this YouTube channel about podcasting, video interviews, and more. So if you want to learn about starting and growing your podcast, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you don't miss an episode. Thanks for watching.